Hey guys, Tom Willis here, uh, video three in our five video series on programming tips and tricks using ETC EOS. Um, I'm going to jump straight into this one because I really want to try and keep this one under five minutes. Today we're going to be talking about um, our home preset in our show file and how we can use this little uh, this little tool in uh, in ETC to speed things up a little bit. So, um, typically when you uh, patch moving lights into your show file and you turn them on for the first time, um, they will turn on with a whole bunch of home values. For example, if I select my some of my wash lights on stage and I turn them on, you can see that already um, they're, they're pointing straight down, that their pan and tilt values are at about 50%. Um, Home values are designed um, to put the light in a state of readiness um, and we don't assume that zero values um, uh, equate to, to home values. Sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. In the case of these moving lights you can see that um, my colours are already set to full which means that when I drive my intensity light comes out of the, uh, the lamp straight away. We don't have to turn the light on and then bring up our colored LEDs as well to make that happen. So um, home values are designed to make our lives easier. And the way that ETC works is, is, that, is that it applies global home values on a fixture type basis in our patch. So you can change these values in the patch, but you change them on a, uh, on a global basis, on a, on a by type basis. And sometimes we would like to be able to change these home values on a per fixture basis. Um, to give you an example, I have four Mac Encores that are in my wings. And generally speaking, these would be on ladders or in booms. And if you would just turn them on in their generic home position, you might not see them from out in the auditorium. Um, if they're masked by legs or, or, um, or the architecture of the space, it can be hard to see where they're pointing to begin with. And you have to, you know, do a little bit of guesswork to drag them on stage. So uh, what I like to do is I like to grab these lights and I like to put them actually pointing on stage. Um, and then I like to use that as my home position. And ETC allows you to do that really easily. If we go to um, our system settings, you can see that at the very on the very first tab, we've got a home preset um, box and we can select from our existing presets. So I'm just going to use stage wash as an example. I'm going to go back to live. I'm going to sneak everything out. And now if we bring up those encores, you'll see that even though none of their values are manual yet, they are focused pointing on stage, uh, which makes our lives much easier from the get-go. Now you'll notice that um, when I just uh, updated our home position then, um, I used my stage wash preset. And this is what I used to do when I first started using um, the home preset function. I don't do that anymore. Um, and the main reason I don't do that is it kind of opens you up to a little trap that can happen when you start programming your show file whereby you can turn your light on, um, you can see that it's maybe pointed in, in, the, in the focus that you want, to begin with, so you don't need to touch any of the focus or beam data, you just maybe chuck it in a color, record your cue and move on. The danger with that, of course, is that you haven't, because these are home values, they're not manual yet. So if you press record right now, you're not actually gonna record any of those values into your cue list. So it's a little pitfall of, of making your home preset too good, okay? So instead of doing that, instead of using your stage wash as your home preset, I like to make um, a special home preset. Um, and I like to use uh, this home preset as the basis for my lamp check position or my, my, my initial lamp check position. So instead of having them at a full wash where they overlap and they've got shutters and various bits and pieces in, if I grab these guys and put them into my home preset, you can see that Okay, they've zoomed right in, they've moved to their own space um, on the stage, and if I bring up the rest of my fixtures in my rig, like that, 
and apply them to my home preset, you can see that they've all found their own little bit of real estate. So we can see all the beams individually. We can compare the beams to each other, which is really useful for fault finding. Um, and it's a really good focus for our lamp check state to make sure that everything is powered up and outputting correctly. So we'll go back into our system settings and we'll change this home preset to preset five, which is home. Most programmers who use home preset will have a, a standard convention for what preset number they use as their home preset. And generally, typically speaking, it's like at the end of your preset list. So somewhere in the realms of the, the 9,000s. Um, it, it's, it really doesn't matter where you put it as long as it makes sense to you. And now if I turn off everything, uh, when I bring up my lights, they are on stage, homed, ready to start working. Um, but the cool thing about doing it this way, about having them spotted in, there's not a lot of chance that I'm gonna um, forget that these guys are in their home position um, and still need uh, to have manual values for, for pan tilt for uh, beam color. You can see um, when we turn them on that they're not even referencing the preset. They are home values. They are just gray home values. So we, we, we still need to apply values to them before we can start recording them into our queue list. So that's how I use um, the home preset function in ETC EOS. I find it makes my life a hell of a lot easier, especially when you're using um, rigs with lots of movers um, and lots of movers that are off stage or out of sight in weird positions where um, if you set them up properly the first time, in that home position, then it's just gonna make your life a hell of a lot easier. And it's gonna give your home button on your desk a little bit more functionality in the context of the show that you're working on. I uh, hope that makes sense. Um, thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. See you later.